Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are back and today it is currently January 2nd at 8.50 p.m. I'm actually at the office right now just taking care of some busy work for the rest of the week but yesterday my mud guard fell off and it's really crappy because it's been falling off for a while. I was just kind of hoping that it wouldn't fall off all the way. This one screw come undone from the clip that is in the truck and then somewhere down the line the rest of the mud guard started falling apart. I ran over it and then one of the screws that was holding this mud guard up went into the tire. Luckily, it went horizontally into the tread. So I was able to just get some locking pliers, yank it out. Yeah, this really freaking sucks. I paid $100,000 for a truck and the freaking mud guards come off. And before all of you guys go type it in the comments, oh camera, it's because you're running different tires than stock. It's because you lifted the truck. These don't even come close to touching the mud guards like the mud guards and the tires there's just so much distance between them i would argue that there's like four inches maybe even six nonetheless i do have a bumper to bumper warranty so i have a couple of options here one i can go to gmc and be like hey replace it and they would probably do it or i can just get some aftermarket parts i'm gonna look online see what i can find on the aftermarket market take care of this annoying problem this is what it's supposed to look like this is the driver's side. This is what my passenger side looks like. By the way, you guys have been killing the views. Thank you so much for all of your recent support. It's very motivating and I'm getting the gist. All right, nonetheless, I'm gonna go inside and do some work and I'll pick you guys up in a couple of days. My shipment from Doc's Diesel has gone into the mail. So whenever it gets here, I guess we can do the fuel filter change. Stay tuned. For you, it's gonna be a couple seconds for me it's probably gonna be two days. I have a new fuel filter. I got this one from Doc's Diesel. If we pop this bad boy open. It came with the gasket for the internal housing, fuel filters right here, and the other gasket. I also have gloves. You'd never wanna work on anything fuel related without gloves on. Got my handy dandy 36 millimeter bit as well. We're not gonna be using an impact. We're gonna be using a socket wrench. The impacts gonna over torque it. We aren't using an oil pan under us today. We're just gonna be using a black bag and a milk carton that I'm gonna cut in half. So yeah, it's a real DIY project. Alrighty guys, so this is obviously the fuel filter housing. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna put our 36 millimeter right up onto it and then we're gonna actually fit our socket onto it. Last fuel filter change I did was in August and it was actually probably exactly at 14,000 miles. We just crossed 27,100. There's gonna be a lot of fuel that comes out of this just so you know. So make sure you have a container to catch all of the fuel. Already got some leakage coming down. It looks like we're catching it. A right, little makeshift uh, home. Gosh, this is uh, some nasty stuff. I'm happy to report that I caught almost none of that fuel in the actual milk carton, but the trash bag did what it was uh, intended to do, so that's all that matters. When you guys are doing this filter swap, make sure that you have everything you need out of the pickup truck or you leave your uh, driver door open because after 2017 and these L5Ps, they implemented a change to have injection pump prime the moment the driver door opens. So you don't want this priming well. Obviously the housing's off. All right, it pops out. It just, it literally just, you know, pull this O-ring off. So if you want to put your new filter in, it just uh, snaps into place. Make sure it's obviously lined up at the bottom. And look at the comparison between the dock diesel filter and the outgoing filter. It's night and day difference. You're going to want to replace this O-ring, but it's this, this little O-ring at the end of the uh, inside. It's kind of finicky to get off, but it comes off. Put your new one on. Now we're going to put the O-ring on the filter housing. O-ring goes on the filter housing. It's, uh, it's black, so it's a little harder to see. This is the new O-ring. Rotate clockwise. Get it going by hand first. Always get it going by hand first. Tighten it up the rest of the way. Do one last quarter turn. All right. Get a bit off. So this part is super simple. You don't want to start the truck. I repeat, do not start the truck. You're going to press and hold your start stop button and you're going to hold it until it's an accessory power. That'll start filling the fuel filter with fuel. Do not start the truck. And what'll happen is you'll hear the fuel filter 
start filling with fuel. Press and hold your in top start button again. Put the truck in accessory mode. Let the fuel filter housing fill up with fuel a little bit more. It's good practice to do this two to three times. I do it three times just to be safe. You wait about 10 to 15 seconds, you do it again. If we did everything correct, the truck should start. With my foot on the brake, I'm gonna press this one more time. We're good to go. That's how easy it is to do a fuel filter change. You wanna check for leaks. So you're gonna be looking at housing, making sure that it's not leaking. In our case, it looks like we're good to go. We are gonna pack everything up and then we're gonna bring the M3 here to LA County. My M3 is in Victorville, which is about two hours away as the bird flies. So now you can just reset your fuel filter, which I'm doing. Um, so it should be at 100%. Restart the truck. And there we go. I had a six and a half inch lift on my truck and honestly, I got tired of it. It wasn't good enough. So I went with this bulletproof 12 inch lift um, and I'm not telling the truth whatsoever. This is uh, actually buddy Justin's truck. Um, I mean, and this thing is, it's insane. My truck's right here looking like a child. I mean, the, the size comparison is just, I'm less of a man when, when I'm next to this truck. I mean, I, I was feeling really cool and really good about myself. And then when you know something like this exists, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Alrighty, so um, he's fully deleted. Obviously in my truck I have all of my EGR stuff and whatnot, like in that little pocketed area. Uh, but he's rocking an s and intake, and then he's got like a Whirly Fab um, hot and cold side. Actually he's got a Whirly Fab hot side and then um, Banks Power cold side. But yeah, this is, this is sick. I'm actually standing on the um, bed of my truck because there's no other way for me to accurately get a shot because this truck is so high off the ground. It's insane. We're actually taking... I think my truck and the trailer that's currently attached to his truck and we're gonna go grab the M3. Alrighty, so we have our navigation all set up um, and the address put in. So we will be hitting the road. So we got the uh, M3 back, uh, we got the trailer and the Duramax is doing work for a living. Um, this is the first time it's actually worked for a living in a while so it's good to see it working. I'm trying to figure out the winch situation for the trailer. Um, yeah, we got a lot of moving parts. Alrighty, so we effectively made it to our destination. The truck put some work in. Uh, yeah, the M3 is going to roll off. It's pretty filthy. There's some damage from some dogs, which sucks. But she's in good shape. By the way, the M3 is going to be getting worked on here in a future video very soon. There's some very interesting stuff. Think about Fast and Furious, think about Need for Speed, think about any racing movie that has ever showed a E46 M3 and you'll have a general idea of what I plan to do. I don't want to say too much without quite saying enough. But uh, yeah, if you guys are new viewers out there and this is your first time stopping by, I do invite you to subscribe. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you may find yourselves. I'll see you guys. Peace.